So, uh, it's bus driver life. I'm Kiwan. Let's um, yeah, take a look around my bus. I think it's a good idea. Let's do it. I can't show you everything, can't show you logos and all of that type of stuff of the company I drive for, but I can show you, you know, certain parts of the bus. So, let's do it. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. So, here's the steering wheel and here's the horn. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and see if the windshield wipers work. Oh yeah. They work. Uh, shout out to Williams Controls for these amazing pedals that we get to step on every day. Of course, you know, that one makes the bus go stop. And that one makes the bus go go. So, yeah, those are the official terms as well. But it's really not. I'm just being silly. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Ooh, it's kind of messy down there, but here's another fun fact that some of you may not know. Pretty sure all you bus fans and enthusiasts out there, you already know this, but some people don't know that we signal with our feet, not with our hands. Here's the left turn signal, there's the right turn signal, and that's for the bright lights. So, we step on our signals. And it's actually pretty convenient. I like it better than flicking a switch with your hands. So, there's a fun fact about buses and this bus is a 2008 orion it's actually a chrysler daimler daimler is that how you say it? daimler daimler chrysler yeah they at one point made orion buses i believe that company is no longer in existence and they gave all the parts to new flyer or something like that I'm pretty sure somebody in the comments, they'll know the exact thing that happened, but it was something like that. I'm not too far off. So yeah, this is 2008. Let's see how many miles this bus has on it. So it's 2008 now. Wait, no it's not. So it's 2020 now, and this is a 2008 model bus, and it has over 508,000 miles. Over 508,000 miles between 2008 in 2020. So this is a very important gauge. This is my air pressure gauge. We do not use hydraulic brakes, we use air brakes. There's uh, air tanks in the front and in the rear, so there's a needle for each. And you have to make sure you have enough air, make sure you're not losing air. Because if you do lose air, then the bus is unsafe. You won't have enough air for the brakes to work properly, so. And when you do your pre-trip inspection, you have to do an entire set of air brake tests. I'm gonna show you what they look like right now. Those are the air brake tests that you have to do when you are in training. You have to memorize all of that and you have to recite that word for word while you're performing your air brake test. You ain't lying. It's just a small portion of the fare box here. It says, insert cash only. No tickets, people. But do you know people always get on here and put tickets into the fare box and I have to always tell them like, hey, no tickets. And they'll look at me like I'm crazy and continue to put the ticket into the fare box. And I'm like, no, no tickets, only cash in there. They're actually trying to get away from tickets and cash because we have, dun, 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 dun. So we have this tap machine. You just tap your card. Your card already has the bus fare on it and there's no need to exchange fares or tickets. This would have your block number. So yeah, you do that manually. But on the newer buses that we have, you don't have to even do this at all. It just kind of, uh, it's electronic and it updates once you enter in your information, once you log on to the bus. So yeah, but this one, you gotta use these things to turn. You know, you gotta turn them and it'll switch the numbers to whatever your block number is. And yeah, you do that. I've already wiped down and sanitized all this. We're still in pandemic mode out here, people. So when you're into the driver's area, you always want to watch your step. Here goes some of the nifty seat adjustment controls. Those definitely uh, come in handy when you're operating the bus. And make sure that seat is just right so you can operate the bus as safely as possible. Or is it as safe as possible? Uh... Here goes a yellow cord that you can pull if you like to request a stop. Let's go ahead and pull the cord, okay? I'm gonna pull the cord, let's see what happens. 
Stop requested. There you go. Wheelchair securement area. There goes a strap to secure it in. Take this lever, you can put the seat down or you can put the seat back up. And that seat does the same thing. And then underneath, you have two more wheelchair straps there. We do a three-point tie-down. But there's a fourth strap right there if you're gonna do a four-point tie-down. See that old school looking phone right there? That's what we use to communicate on the radio all day. To me, the radio is extremely distracting and irritating because you have constant radio traffic in your ear your entire shift, but it's part of your job and you just have to learn how to deal with it. Uh, you can't really tune it out because if they call you, you're expected to answer it right away. If you don't answer a dispatch right away, they're like pretty much ready to fight you or something. So <laughs> you just have to answer. It's another interesting thing that's on the bus. People ignore this all the time. You ain't lying. People, we have a dash cam. And on the newer buses, we have multiple cameras pointing outside and on the sides of the bus and the rear of the bus. So for those of you that like to cut us off, jump right in front of us, they're watching you. Here's the switch for the wheelchair ramp. Let's let it out real quick. Look at all that dust. Ooh. So we got the bike rack right here. All you gotta do is pull and squeeze and bam. There goes the bike rack and it holds up to three bikes. As you can see, with the bike rack down, it does extend the length of the bus a bit. So when you're making your turns, you have to keep that in mind. Here's the advertisement on my bus. They are currently conducting the census here in California. California, yay. Census 2020. Really interesting year to be doing a census during a pandemic when so many people have died. Pretty interesting. Not these people. These people, I don't, I don't know them. I think all these people are alive, but yeah. Here's an interesting thing that some people don't know. This is the rear tire that you see. But guess what? There's actually two tires in there. They're duals on each side in the rear. So on the rear of the bus, there's two tires on both sides. Let's see. I don't think you're going to be able to see. Oh, wait. I think you can see. See? There's a second tire over there. So on each side of the rear of the bus, there are two tires. There are actually duals on the back. So your standard American Transit bus has six tires. Here's the rear of the bus, the back side. Showing you what I can, of course. Don't want to show logos or license plates or anything like that. This is a CNG bus. No diesel. Most transit buses in California, they use CNG fuel. Here's the engine compartment, if you can hear me. So yeah, I can't tell you where the fuel door is. That is top secret. Nobody can, oh wait, it's right there. It's literally written for everyone to see. It's the fuel compartment door. But I mean, it's not really much you can do with that. So there's that, CNG fuel only. Fortunately, we don't have to check our fuel. The buses are fueled overnight, so. Well, I guess that's all I'm going to share for now. Time for the face reveal. You already know how I look. Let's just go to the next part. This is embarrassing. <laughs>